Okay, this is going to be Devil's Den Part 24 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And the rock that we're looking at here uh, in front of us is known as the Smirking Rock. Um, and if you look at the rock, it's it's got a smirk on it. smiles. It comes back and smiles. It looks like there's a little eye there. Um, Um, there is a, a famous photograph of a dead Confederate soldier uh, right here on the side of this rock. And then, of course, it looks like the rock is smiling at the fact that there's a dead soldier laying in front of it. Um, so it's a, it's a smirking rock. And uh, this has uh, been pointed out by some licensed battlefield guides. Um, and, it, and over the years, uh, the nickname for this rock has stuck to it. Um, Alexander Gardner, of course, uh, on July 6th, 1863, uh, just came out here taking photographs and just happened to take a photograph of a dead Confederate soldier uh, lying here just to the right side uh, of this rock. Uh, also, the bridge um, that you see behind it um, was originally built uh, around 1890. Um, for carriages. Um, carriages would cross the bridge, and of course that's why the bridge has a stone foundation. You don't need a stone foundation uh, for a small wooden bridge. That's the original uh, foundation for the bridge. The, the bridge uh, was put in here, and of course later on Warren Avenue, which came down and by the den here, was established uh, around 1903. So again, this has uh, our, our continued tour here uh, of Devil's Den. This has been part 24, the Smirking Rock and the Carriage Bridge on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And part 25, the Wild Rock here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And this uh, rock is named the Wild Rock because of a famous photograph um, that Alexander Gardner took here of Alfred Rudolph Wild. Uh, sitting on this rock, sketching. Now, Alfred Rudolph Wild was born on uh, October the 2nd, 1828. He died on April the 6th, 1891. He was born in London, and he was a Civil War sketch artist. Uh, and during the 1863 Gettysburg campaign, he was employed by the New York Illustrated News, and he actually made several sketches uh, as an eyewitness of the Battle of Gettysburg, uh, including one of the only eyewitness accounts to sketch Pickett's charge. Uh, of course, after the Battle of Gettysburg, he stuck around here for a few more days, and while seeing the uh, carnage of the battlefield somewhere here around July 5th, 6th, and 7th, he, he, uh, was, uh, he was posed on this rock for a photograph, which I will post on the page. Um, sitting there with his notepad and, and his uh, sketching. Um, and this has been uh, ever since known as the Wild Rock, or the Alfred, Alfred Rudolph Wild Rock. This has been Devil's Den, Part 25, on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And Part 26 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And we're standing here in front of the 40th New York uh, Monument here, uh, just to the north east of Devil's Den. And we're going to talk a little bit about the monument and the action. Uh, the 40th New York uh, moved in late in the Battle of Devil's Den as the 48th Alabama charged from that direction over there. And we'll talk about the action at Gettysburg in our following posts. But the 40th New York was one of the last ones uh, to arrive. The 6th New Jersey did not have a guide, and these guys came in just behind them. Um, they were originally in the wheat field area, and they were sent here to protect Ward's left here at Devil's Den. Um, they came in this direction under very heavy fire, um, fought valiantly here at Devil's Den, and of course were pushed back uh, into this position today where their monument sits. Now, one of the interesting, a few interesting th facts about this monument is one, um, there is a rock carving um, 
on the boulder next to the 40th New York Monument, which may have been a type of monument uh, before this one was erected. And if you look at it, you can actually see where it says 40th New York, and it has the diamond, the core diamond, uh, there. And also, there's a famous photograph, which I'll post, of the monument taken from about this position here. Um, and at one time, there was a, a post that stood up here with a diamond on it that said 40 NYY. Um, and then there's uh, other pictures that you can actually see the old Tipton Park building just behind the monument here in the back. And I'll try to post those pictures. We will talk more about the 40th action here uh, during the Battle of Gettysburg in our, in our later post here as we continue our tour through Devil's Den. This has been Devil's Den Part 26 at the 40th New York Monument on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Battlefield Facebook's uh, continuing uh, coverage of Devil's Den, and this is going to be Devil's Den Part 27, the hitching rail and the old roadbed uh, here at Devil's Den. Uh, in Parts 24, we looked at the Smirking Rock, which is over by the bridge, and then we uh, continued over to the Wild Rock, which you see there. Right across the street, where you see this bicycle rack today, is a parking area where you can park your car. However, in the late 1800s, it was once the site of a hitching rail where you would hitch your horse. And there are some... Uh, remaining tidbits from that rail. There is a part of a, a hole that was drilled into the rock to put an iron post in uh, to hold the hitching rail. And the hitching rail basically went around um, where you see the parking area today. And later this uh, containing wall was built um, for the cars to, to park up against. However, when you walk along the retaining uh, rail by Plum Run here, you can actually see some of the old roadbed foundation when Warren Avenue was put here through Devil's Den uh, in 1903. And of course, they would build up uh, from the ground roadbed uh, when they when they built structures like uh, avenues here in the Gettysburg National Military Park. And here are some of the old foundation stones for that railbed. Um, and as we walk to the other side of this wall, we're actually going to see where the other side of the hitching uh, rail was, was put and drilled into a rock. And actually on this one, it still has a part of the pipe that once came up and then went over here to the other rock. Uh, this has been part 27 of Devil's Den, the old hitching rail on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Part 28 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And for the next several parts, we're actually going to talk about the action at Devil's Den and not just the sites as we've been looking at through the first 25 parts. We're going to get into the action here. Um, basically, the action at Devil's Den was between Confederate brigades under Anderson, Benning, uh, Law, and Robertson, which uh, came toward our camera from that direction there uh, versus a Union Brigade under Ward, uh, which is in this direction here. Now, on the eve of battle, uh, these uh, regiments had planned this attack for July 2nd. And then on July 2nd in the afternoon, they began the attack up to this point that we know as Devil's Den. Um, and it, it was preceded first by an artillery, a Confederate artillery bombardment. And then, of course, after that bombardment was over to break up the men from Ward's brigade here on the crest of this hill, uh, then the attack happened uh, the f the, uh, with the Texas and Arkansas troops. And in uh, our part 29, we'll, we'll, we'll take over from there. But this is the very beginning of the action here at Devil's Den. This has been Devil's Den, part 28 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Marker for Robertson's Brigade, the 1st, 4th, 5th Texas, and the 3rd uh, Arkansas Infantry, which arrived on the field here about 4 p.m. And they advanced against 
uh, union positions. Now, as I move the camera slightly, I'm going to try to give uh, you guys an idea of uh, the troops. Under Robertson's brigade, uh, in this area would have been the 1st Texas under work, and then to their left or our right on the camera would have been the 3rd Arkansas uh, under Manning. Now, defending this hill uh, over in this direction would have been the 4th Maine under Walker, and then of course the 124th New York, which you can see their monument, under Ellis. Uh, to their right, the 86th New York, to their right, the 20th Indiana, and even further to the right, closer to the wheat field, would have been the 99th Pennsylvania Volunteers. And then bordering the wheat field would have been the 17th Maine under Merrill. And this was the initial attack of Robertson's brigade, which consisted of the 1st, 4th, 5th Texas, and the 3rd Arkansas Infantry, which again arrived here at 4 p.m., advanced against the Union position. Uh, the 4th and the 5th Texas actually joined uh, the attack on Little Round Top. Uh, the 1st Texas, and however, the 3rd Arkansas, uh, took Devil's Den and the Rocky Ridge, uh, including three guns of Smith's New York Battery. This has been Devil's Den Part 29, the action at Devil's Den on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook, and in front of us is the Bennings Brigade marker. Uh, Bennings Brigade was, again, part of Longstreet's Corps and Hood's Division. Um, and they consisted of the 2nd, the 15th, the 17th, and the 20th Georgia Infantry. They formed in line around 4 p.m., uh, in the rear of both Law and Robertson's brigade, and they moved forward in this area in support of the conflict, uh, which would then capture Devil's Den. Um, so this is the area that they moved apart, uh, across, and it was in part 11 that we looked at the sharpshooter's pen uh, and the snake rock, which is over here in the middle of the camera there, um, where the body was drug. And it is very possible, though it cannot be proven, uh, because of the area of movement of the soldiers, that that soldier was a Georgia soldier under Benning's brigade. Now, as the 124th New York attacked the 1st Texas uh, in the triangular field, which we looked at in an earlier part in detail, um, they began to push back the initial Confederate attack. And then comes Benning's Georgia Brigade, again, the 2nd, 15th, 17th, and 20th Georgia Infantries, in this area toward our camera, uh, along with the 44th Alabama over here and the 48th Alabama on the flank, this second wave of Confederate attack began to have its effect. Again, the 4th Maine is over here defending, uh, and then the 124th New York to their right, the 86th New York, the 20th Indiana, and the 99th Pennsylvania, which had been near the end of Wheatfield, actually began to move toward the rear, and then they would come up behind the 124th New York Infantry, not too far from where their monument sits today. Uh, the 17th Maine stayed stable over near the Wheatfield at this point in the battle. This has been the action around Devil's Den, Devil's Den, Part 30, Benning's Brigade, here on Getty, at Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. 31 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And this next stage in the action here at Devil's Den, we're going to look at the attack of the 44th and 48 Alabama regiments, uh, which attacked from this area over here, where you see the Elephant Rock today. Um, for anyone's vantage point, if they want to see this, I am actually standing on the top of the De Confederate sharpshooters pen here at the Gettysburg National Military Park. And you can get an excellent vantage of this attack. As Benning's Georgia Brigade began to support, the 1st Texas under work began to push forward once again, pushing the 124th New York uh, and 86th New York. They actually had Arkansas troops uh, on their left which is to the right of our camera, supporting the 1st Texas. The 44th Alabama pushing forward here and here. And then on the flank, the 48th Alabama 
which at this point began to push the fourth main, which had been in this area, back in the direction toward where their monument sits. At the same time, the 99th Pennsylvania, which again had moved behind, actually began to move forward here uh, in support of the 124th New York, the Orange Blossoms. Um, however, the 1st Texas and Arkansas troops and Benning's Brigade, this is where they began to take the den as they pushed back uh, the New Yorkers, the 124th New York, 86th New York, 20th Indiana, and then also a broken company of B and H of the 20th Indiana. At this time, the 17th Maine under Merrill still staying stable uh, in the week. Uh, but this attack concentrates on the flank here at Devil's Den as the 44th and 48th Alabama actually push back here, push the 4th Maine back. This has been Devil's Den and the action here at Devil's Den, part 31 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Two here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook, and today we're going to talk about the men of Ward retaking the crest here at Devil's Den. Initially, um, as the 44th and 48th Alabama uh, pushed through this area and pushed the 4th Maine back, uh, because of the 99th Pennsylvania, you can see it here in the center of our camera, just to the left of that tree. Again, along with Smith's guns of Smith's 4th New York Battery in that direction over there, firing right into the 44th and 48th Alabama, which began to drive these men back. At this point, Georgia Brigade, uh, the 2nd Georgia over here, the 17th Georgia, the 20th Georgia, and the 15th Georgia are now moving through the triangular field. Um, the 1st Texas is in front of the uh, 15th Georgia partially blocking them, and then the 3rd Arkansas is a little bit further to their left. Uh, part of the 1st Texas actually uh, had moved away from this area and retreated back in that way. And then the 4th Maine, which had been pushed back, began to push forward toward the crest of Devil's Den. And of course the 124th, 86 New York regiments to their right, the 20th Indiana, uh, and then, of course, the ever steady 17th Maine held their ground uh, at the top of this ridge. So at this point in the battle, in the next phase, um, the, the battle turns once again as Ward's Brigade begins to retake the ridge here at Devil's Den from the attack on the flank from the 44th and 48th Alabama. This has been Devil's Den Part 32 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. 33 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook and we're going to again look at the action in the next phase of the action here at Devil's Den uh, and we're going to look at the attack of Benning's Brigade which again turned the tide of the battle. In our last uh, video in part 32 we've seen Ward's Brigade beginning to take sections. The 4th Maine had actually moved up to this position here. Um, the 99th Pennsylvania had come from this direction and moved here and sat here on the flank. So it was the 99th, the 4th Maine, the 124th New York, to their right, the 86th New York, the 20th Indiana, and the 17th Maine. The Confederate attack at Benning's Brigade would have been the 1st, 17th Georgia, and 44th Alabama. The 44th Alabama had moving over in this direction, this way, the 48th Alabama staying on the flank. Um, the 1st and Texas and 15th Georgia over here, and then the 3rd Arkansas fighting over here against the 20th Indiana. 1st Texas would be going up against, and the 15th Georgia rather, be going up against the 86th New York and the 20th Indiana, uh, and portions of the 120th New York, and of course the 20th Georgia now coming through triangular field right into the 4th Maine and the 124th New York Volunteers, the Orange Blossoms. Um, this is the attack here of Benning's assault, the main assault, where he would begin to take the ridge of Devil's Den. This has been Devil's Den Part 33 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook.